Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, welcome back to Matsa Sulba Online English Lesson with me, Ratna Hidayati How are you? I hope all of you are healthy, happy, and ready to study with me Okay, before we start, let's say the dua together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Raditu billahi rabba Wabil islami dina Wabi muhammadin nabiya wa rasula Rabbi surahli swadari Wayasirli amri Wahlul uqtadam min lisani Yafuhuli Allah let our heart be filled with light And insight and knowledge and understanding Amin In this video lesson, we are going to learn manual or instructions. We are going to discuss about the social function, the text structure, and the language feature. Have you, your parents, ever bought a new gadget or appliances, such as a coffee maker, a washing machine, a microwave, a television, a computer. And what do you do if you do not know how to use it or operate it? Will you ask someone or call the person? Or you just keep trying to open it yourself until you get frustrated? Or You try to find out the manual and try to understand it. When we buy a new gadget or appliance, usually it is completed with a manual. Okay, it is a text that shows how to operate or use an appliance, a tool, or machine properly. Usually it's in a series of pictures or it can be in written instructions is it important to understand a manual well of course when operating a new appliance or a new gadget we want to achieve the best performance right and we also want to prevent accident harm or damage now let's look at some examples of manual or instructions. Do you still remember the procedure text that we discussed previously? The recipe, right? Okay, do you remember the text structure? All right, they usually goal or aim, materials, steps, and sometimes results. Okay, but in this procedure text, manual or instructions, we sometimes use a has aim or go, but sometimes we don't have materials. Okay, and of course, we have steps in it. Okay, and sometimes we have the result. Okay, what about the language feature? Right. Similar to recipe, manual or instructions use simple present tense, imperative, action verbs such as add, put, turn, attach, conjunctions, next, then, while, or numbering like first, second, third, etc. It also sometimes has adverbs like correctly, carefully, slowly, for two minutes, and so on. Some menu also has warning or caution. This is to prevent from damage or accident. Now let's look at this text. This text has numbering, 
and conjunction. Look at this. First, then, second, third, and finally. Right, the function of numbering or conjunctions here is to help us to understand the sequence of the steps so that we can do the step in a good order. This is another example of the text. Look at this. It has the aim. How to use rice cooker. That's the aim of this text. And we also have material. Rice cooker. Okay. And we have the directions. But in these directions or the instructions, we don't have the numbering. Okay. Look at this. We don't have numbering, but we have dash here. And of course, they are presented, right? The, the instructions here are presented in a good order already. This one is another example of instructions. Look at this. It has the aim. And it also has some paragraphs that precedes the instructions. Okay, now let's look at this text. This text has series of pictures. Okay, look at this. The pictures are given number. Okay, by looking at this picture, do you think that you already understand it clearly? Right, it will be better if the pictures here are completed with the instruction. Okay, the instructions in the form of text. Here are the written text of the instructions that should follow with the pictures. Okay, look at this. But these instructions are not in a sequence order. Okay, so it's your turn to rearrange the steps here so that it becomes more easily for us to understand. Okay, will you try? Well, this is the end of our lesson today. I hope this video lesson help you understand procedural text better. Thank you so much. Okay, let's say alhamdulillah together. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Thank you and see you again next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.